What's up guys, uh, back again with a video today. So today I had to um, travel out of town about a two hour drive to go to a training I had for school. Um, but the good thing about that is um, hopefully I'm going to train legs later tonight even though you know I had to travel for two hours. I'm having to train from about or sit through this training from about um, about 11 o'clock to 6.30 at night. Um, so I'm going to try to train legs after that after not really um, having too much to eat. Um, I did bring with me a um, combat crunch protein bar. So I'm going to try to get that in. Um, probably about an hour before the training's finished. So I'll at least have some kind of food in me before I go train legs. So, all right guys, um, you know, the grind don't stop. You know, these dreams, um, you know, they don't get put on hold for the rest of your life. They really become priority and everything else revolves around them. Um, even, you know, the stuff for school, the stuff, um, you know, regardless, I still got to get my training sessions in. I still got to stay on, um, you know, on top of my food and my diet. So, um, yeah, I'm going to quit rambling and show you guys some gym footage. What if a child dreamed of becoming something other than what society had intended? What if a child aspired to something greater? Okay guys, so on to this workout commentary. Um, what you're seeing right here, I did a few sets of squats. Um, I'm using 260 right here. I'm trying to get five reps. I know this is not um, impressive weight by any means, but keep in mind guys, I do mostly train for bodybuilding. Um, my legs are um, admittedly my weak point, And, you know, I'm just doing the best progress that I could possibly make. So, um, here you're just seeing... Uh, one of the sets of squats. Now, I did um, feel a little antsy today. Felt like working up to a 315-pound squat. Um, that would be a PR for me. Um, the most I've ever squatted for one for good depth um, is 300 pounds. And that's been a while ago. You know, I don't really try to test my strength too much. But here is the 315 squat attempt. <clears throat> oh, by the way, the gym that I'm training at is the EKU Rec Center. Um, pretty solid gym. I really enjoyed it, but here's a 315 squat. And as you can see, I got about halfway. So I did not count that as a PR at all. Um, you know, it's still something I got to work on. I really got to get back to getting on that dip, which I will talk about a little bit more after this workout. So um, from there, just moved on and um, did some leg presses. As you're seeing, um, I did uh, sets of 15 to 20, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I like to keep my leg press reps uh, fairly high, you know. I don't like to do uh, 10 to 12. I really like to just get a good pump. And on my last set of these, I ended up doing a drop set where um, I just took a plate off each side. And um, from there, I um, just moved on and did some leg extensions. I'm really trying to keep these under control, you know, not um, swinging the weight, leading with um, my toes pointed up, and really trying to get that little bit of extra squeeze at the top and control the weight all the way down to the um, bottom movement. So that was um, all I did for quads, just did squats, leg press, and leg extensions. Um, and also on these leg extensions, I've been super setting them with... Um, uh, body squats, just 10 body squats, um, but you're not really going to see that footage. From there, I moved on to some seated um, hamstring curls. Now, these, I really like machines that are like this where you're actually seated. Um, instead of the, you know, the classic, like, laying down hamstring curls, um, I just feel like I can get a better contraction and kind of focus on the squeeze a little bit better, so... Um, definitely like this hamstring machine. If you guys have it and you've not tried it, I definitely, definitely recommend it. And then, um, lastly, just did some, 
Um, stiff legged deadlifts for the hamstrings. Um, just some, uh, you know, nothing fancy. Did them with dumbbells. I like doing them with dumbbells a lot better than barbells. I feel like I can uh, just get a better stretch because I'm not really flexible, so that's something I'm working on. So thank you guys for um, sitting through this commentary and enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Okay, guys, so um, didn't get that 315 squat. Um, not the way I wanted it to, but, you know, <clears throat> I'm at least being able to acknowledge my weaknesses. Um, my legs have always kind of been behind, and I know for the most part, um, my squats have been deeper than they were, but I was also going lighter than I have been. Um, but, you know, I really um, tried to strive for that depth, and that was a big thing that I really cared about my squats is I didn't really care. Um, how heavy I was going as long as I was making progress doing depth um, and I really think it's just a mental obstacle if you hear the rain um, I'm sitting in my car it's raining outside um, and you know I think it's kind of it takes guts to be able to you know recognize your flaws and um, you know if you at least bring light onto them and you don't just try to ignore them you can at least confront them and you know, you can work on them, and that's all I'm trying to do is just work on, um, you know, my weaknesses and um, further my strengths, and I really feel like that's going to get me closer to my goals. Um, but today was hectic. I had that training. Um, I'm about to have tons of calories left where, you know, I've not really been able to eat, so I'm going to get some Chick-fil-A for the drive home. Just give me some grilled nuggets. I still got another meal that I'm going to have to try to squeeze in when I get home and a shake, a scoop away. So, um, I probably won't show you guys that food because I feel like this video has been long enough, but, um, man, you know, I've learned today that the grind does not stop, you know, regardless of what you throw in your life and the real champions are able to not put the grind on hold, you know, no matter what is happening in life, the grind continues, you know, this process, if you're really goal oriented and this vision is so clear in your mind. You know, you really, and I'm I'm struggling, but I'm trying my best to start to develop, you know, a character, my own personal character and value system to where these goals become a priority, where they become non-negotiable, where things revolve, you know, not completely around them, but I don't make excuses for them. You know, I don't put them on hold for something else. You know, they're just as important as any other aspect of my life. And um, I just encourage you to... You know, if you're not seeing the kind of success that, you know, you want, maybe your goals just aren't a priority. Um, and I'm starting to believe that that's maybe something that might be hindering me is that they're just not um, up on the priority level as they should be. Um, but, you know, I'm always excited to put in this work. I'm excited to keep growing. I'm definitely farther along than I've ever been, but I know I've got a long, long way to go with you know, I want to reach what I can envision. So, all right, guys, I thank you for uh, watching this video. I thank you for liking the video. And um, you can always subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. The links to my social media are in the description down below, Instagram, Snapchat. And until um, next time, guys, let's keep it positive and God bless.